Alright folks, it is Sunday, August the 20th, it is 7.30 in the morning, 52 beautiful degrees out. Alright guys, we made it to Sandstone Falls, there they are. Randy and I are heading to get some breakfast and then we're going to go and do the Hellbender. Now, the Hellbender, I guess, is about an hour from here, but the roads to get to the Hellbender are going to be pretty fun. So we'll go check it out. It's a 132-mile loop. Apparently, it's got some pretty good views and some pretty awesome roads. So after breakfast, we're going to head out that way. All right, guys, we're in the air at Hawk's Nest State Park where we just had breakfast at a restaurant inside at the lodge. This place seems pretty cool. Lodging and all kinds of cool activities right here at the park. So pretty neat. But it's going to be a beautiful day out here today. Uh, sun's getting ready to pop up. It's supposed to be nice and warm. And uh, we've got our beautiful bikes here behind us. And we're ready to go for a ride, find our way to the Hellbender and go ride around on the Hellbender. All right, see you then. All right, guys, we left Richwood on 39. We turned left onto 150 or Scenic Highway, depending on what GPS or navigational unit you're using. We are in something that I think is called the Monongala National Forest. We're back. We took off on 39 out of Richwood. We turned onto Scenic Highway, which is 150, and it just became the Scenic Highway with a sign now we just made another left to stay on the road. Been a great ride. That 150, like you see in front of us, is a very gentle, easy ride. Put your highway pegs out, put your feet up, and enjoy it. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Hey, folks, welcome back. Randy and I are on 150 or Scenic Highway, and it's been a great ride. Nice and gentle, flat, with undulating hills, some curves here and there couple of suicidal deer tried to take Randy out but we came to this overlook and you can see behind me it's absolutely beautiful through there we are in something called the Monongala National Forest and down through there is the beginning of the Williams River which will continue 1700 miles down to the Gulf of Mexico this is a national forest that was established in 1920 after this place was logged so bad that these waters that start here actually caused a whole bunch of flooding. 100 years later, and look at this, absolutely beautiful. All right, we will be back. We're gonna continue the ride. I don't have much space on my SD card on the other camera, so probably just a lot more off the bike stuff, which probably better anyway, right? <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, well, now we're on 15, which connects to 20 when we get to the end of it and that's pretty much the whole hellbender loop is when we get to 20 we'll be heading back toward where we started so it's been 15 has been a great road uh, you know some good long straightaways with sweepers now we're going down the mountain so we've got a little bit more technical a little tighter stuff but it's been quite a loop I'm really impressed with it there were parts of it where the road was real rough and it actually made you feel like maybe there was something wrong with the bike because it's vibrating the way it was but yes it's been a been a fun little loop 132 miles worth it if you're in the area go do the ride I think you'll enjoy it, it had some you know just a little bit of everything the scenic views off the scenic highway twisty roads wide open country roads through the country very nice very nice ride we're back we made it through the hellbender 132 miles some pretty awesome roads including some that were very relaxed and scenic with some great views some of the views kind of reminded me of the blue ridge parkway in a way it was beautiful we did some very twisty roads we did some that were gentle like what you're seeing here in front of you high speed roads the only caveat to doing the loop, I highly recommend you do the loop, the only caveat to it is that the road roads were pretty rough in spots. Had some spots where there was some undulations and 
almost felt like a vibrating in the bike when you were running over them and you could barely see them. So I thought there was something wrong with the bike at first. Then there's a lot of spots where there's patches in the road and they're rough. There's a lot of spots where there's like little holes. And most of all, it's those dips. Boom, boom. Don't see them coming and yeah, messes up with your suspension just a little bit. But anyway, I recommend doing the road. It's very much worth the ride if you're in the area. Randy and I are gonna head down, gonna probably grab something to eat, and maybe head back to the campground fairly early. So I think I'm probably done with the whole series of videos. Thank you for hanging out with me and for hanging out with Randy. I think that I would do this again in a heartbeat. But All right, guys, we're back at the campground. And I just wanted to show you our setup here. In my tent, my, what is this called? This is a cool or moon lens tent. It's got this little hub on the top where you pop it up, open and close it right here. And it works out great because it's super easy, super quick, and a lot of fun. So Randy's tent is over there. We got the fire going. We just started. It's very wet wood, so we're trying to get that going. And then we're going to just hang out here for the night and head up on home tomorrow. We got the bikes all ready to get covered up for the night. We're going to pack up everything we can tonight and then be ready to go first thing in the morning. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later. Hope everyone can stay well, stay safe, most of all, stay happy, y'all. Moto Ramblings out. See ya.